this little demonstration I'm going to be showing you these new rope brushes and before I get started I will have a link below the video where you can test and download it so let's get started welcome to this tutorial on the easy rope brushes okay um, this is designed for ZBrush 4R3 if you can locate this folder here it's called the uh, C program file pick logic ZBrush 4R2 ZBrushes then you will unzip the folder and place it in here all right this way it will load up in Lightbox so once you have that there we're gonna go ahead and open up ZBrush all right if we open up the light box here and we come over to the brushes here then you can see the one that says easy ropes and we'll open this up and you'll see these ropes right here I'm gonna do a little demonstration with the quick sketch here and if I was to load a brush first and press a quick sketch well I would end up replacing my brush so we need to go ahead and start the quick sketch here this is actually you can do um, 2d or and 3d on here so once it's loaded now for me to see some type of bumps um, I'm gonna have to change this material to anything different than the flat so this is just kind of a little demonstration and I'll select the basic material here then what I'll do is uh, I'm gonna turn off the cemetery and turn the X on here and um, we're gonna open up light box and um, I'm gonna go through each one of these and it's gonna get better we got these layered ropes down here towards the end these are all sectioned off and these are pretty cool and I'm gonna show you um, something a little different about these but we're gonna start one here on the left hand side and we'll double click that let me kick my draw size up and so you can kind of see it and we're gonna go ahead and I'll just drag it on here then just hold the shift key so it draw kind of a straight line now this is one of the ropes so uh, control Z that there you go with this rope here let me do that again so I get a little bit straighter line there we go there's the second rope here so we're going to control Z that uh, the third rope which is a pretty cool one here so we're going to control Z that and we're going to go to the fourth rope and then we get something like that now we're going to control Z that now when we go into these next brushes here we got another section of four different brushes they're both they're all four rope brushes but these are called layer ropes and I'm going to explain how these work um, these were based off with the layer brush or yeah the layer brush here so if I open this up and go to L for layer and we'll select here let's close up light box well what this does is when you are drawing and you let go of a stroke and you go back across it again you can see it overlap and you see the overlap right there control Z that and control Z that now if I drag up and just don't let off the mouse button and drag around it won't overlap but once I let go of the mouse button and drag across it overlaps well with this layer brush you can solve that control Z that control Z that is you come over here under the uh, tools and go to morph target and we'll store the morph target and when we do that and we click here and drag down then I'm gonna let go now I'm gonna drag to the side here and remember last time when I went across there it overlapped um, with layer brush it don't overlap once you have the more target stored so if I was to delete that and drag down let go drag across then it's gonna overlap we're gonna control Z that back so we're gonna go ahead and delete that and then we're gonna store it 
So we're going to go ahead and grab one of them layer ropes here. And if I drag down like this, let me increase the intensity a little bit so you can see a little bit better in the video. And I'm going to drag down like this. I'm going to let go and click and drag to the side. And you can see it went right through it without overlapping it. So that's how that works there. Control Z that back. Um, be careful when you're Control Z and you don't go too far in delete your more. Alright, now we've got some cool ones coming up here. So we'll go to the second one. And uh, we're going to go ahead and click and drag down. Of course, we're going to need a little bit more intensity so you can kind of see a little bit better in the video. There's another rope there. Control Z that. And we're going to go to this third one here. Now, this one's pretty cool here. And uh, you can see it's not overlapping there. Make some cool designs with it, whatever you want. And I'll do a couple more and go to the next one. Pause the video for a second and control Z that back quite a bit. And we're going to this last one. This one is actually a pretty cool one here. Um, I'm going to drag down like this. And you can see the rope as it's spinning and twisting as I'm pulling down. And let's crank up the intensity just a little bit so you can see it in the video. And actually, this, this brush here, you could actually make a fake imitation muscle volume out of it um, because it's got some muscle structures to it, it looks like kind of like the old uh, let's see what that was let's see let's go down here and it was the old Z sketch here um, how you could kind of uh, build up muscle and you kind of get this look right here let me switch the color here it kind of works like that so let me let me just go ahead and bring that back here and we'll switch this back the light box and select like that last one uh, we'll use a cemetery here and you can kind of make some really cool stuff You can see it's kind of overlapping there because I have no morph stored on this. So let's control Z this back. And we'll turn that on really quick. And we'll do this again. Really simple. Yeah, you can see how you can kind of get some like some, some muscle volume. Like if you're doing inside the ribs and chest. Uh, let's say pretend this was a chest sort of. Well, that's kind of a cool look and you can kind of do that on uh, 3D mesh. I know the last one here is a rope brush but it does make some good muscles. So, um, we're not even going to store a morph on here in case I want to overlap and build up some muscle. This is just a quick demonstration. We're just going to make a new layer here and uh, just drag down like this and we can kind of simulate a little bit of muscle mass right here maybe a little bit in the bicep and then I'm gonna go a little bit more than I normally will to increase it so you can kind of see in a video then you can start seeing how you can get some muscle like that and let's go ahead and just uh, make that real quick and I'll do a little bit more here. 
like I said, I'm going a little bit more than I normally would. You can actually smooth out the mesh a little bit if it's a little too much. You know, you can do it in the rib cage or whatever you want. Okay, not the best, but hey, I think you get the idea here. So, I'm going to go ahead and go on the next step here. From here on out, I'm just going to be pausing the video and setting things up, and I'm not going to get into every detail how I set things up and why things work. I'll give you a brief overview because if I get into um, describing every little detail when I set things up, it's just going to prolong the video. Um, for this next example, I'm still using the uh, last layer brush here, and I changed material, and we're going to be using the MRGB. That's the material and color. So I'm going to be using this material with this color here. So we can just kind of drag around here like this. And we get something like this. Alright, not going to do a whole setup, but I think you get the general idea. I'm on the last brush here, the uh, layer brush 008, layer rope brush. And I'm going to kind of draw like in a sort of a heart shape sort of here. Maybe do that a little bit better than that. And if we hold the Alt key and go back over the same path, and we get something like that. Then I'm going to let go off the Alt key and then go back around right here. See that back. I'm on a new brush here. This is the uh, layer rope brush uh, 007. A lot of times when I'm switching uh, these brushes, you'll see the alpha over change. And we'll store the morph target. Yeah, um, I really ain't got anything um, to draw to make it look like a rope, but well, you, you can do all kinds of effects by just kind of rolling around on this guy here and you can get something like this Here's another cool option. We're going to have the MRGB off, and if we drag across here, as you can see, we get the rope as normal. But when we turn this on, we'll get the uh, certain materials on certain depth. As you can see, I'm getting this uh, orange material in between the strand here. previous brush I used was the uh, 003. I switched to the 004 now. We're not already switched off the MRGB. We're just going to do color with 100% intensity and we're just going to drag it on it and then we're going to get something like this. And you can see the colors in between it. Okay, I switched to the um, brush uh, 06 gonna basically do the same thing and crank that up and you can see now it's uh, kind of going in between the strands um, you're gonna get a lot of different effects if you come over to the alpha and go down the modifier and start mess with all kinds of these settings even invert and uh, just kind of test them out and see what they do I mean you just drag across there if you don't like it control Z that um, this time we're just gonna mess with a mid-range a little bit here, mid-value, and 
then you can kind of see how that works, which is kind of cool. Increase the draw size here so you can kind of see it a little bit better. You get something like that. 